What's up, Burbs? So, um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on uh, XMR, XMR B2C, because I, I really like uh, how the weekly is, uh, is looking here. So, we have uh, a weekly W formation forming here, and uh, if you've been following my my, uh, my my charts in the Nest Club chat, you have probably noticed that I like to hunt the weekly W's. Basically, I like them because when they actually break out, uh, you will see some pretty powerful moves. And if you catch catch it, you will probably get some nice profits, right? And, and especially if you time it right to catch uh, the retest of the neckline. So let me explain what I'm saying. <laughs> um, right here we have the weekly w and uh, this level right here is resistance also you could call it the, the neckline of the w so the neckline of the w is the area that we need to break to the upside for this powerful move to happen so what i like to see is break to the upside come down and retest the neckline and then continuation this is where I'd like to enter. What's nice about Monero here is you have the the yellow this yellow line here is the 21 exponential moving average. So we haven't really had a weekly close above since April last year on Binance. So a lot of time, you know, a lot of time has BTC traded below the L21 exponential. And now when we see it come in right at resistance with a weekly W, I anticipate a pretty massive move once we actually break above. So if you zoom into the daily, you will notice that this white line here is the 200 simple moving average and uh, it actually comes in right around the same level where the weekly 21 exponential is so if we break above and for me a confirmed break above the neckline is is a daily candle opening and closing open and close is very important to uh, if you get an open and close above you don't really run the risk of buying a fake out but waiting for such a high confirmation like a daily open and close above, you run the risk of actually missing out on the trade. Because if this one breaks up to the upside, I anticipate a pretty powerful move. And uh, with good momentum, you will probably miss out on this move if you wait for a uh, daily open and close. So it's just a matter of your risk appetite uh, uh, or whatever. Like, can you risk missing out and uh, you know wait for a, a better setup so you could also look on the four hour for a four hour daily open and close above i'm sorry a four hour open and close above before you actually long uh, the retest so the setup would look something like this the most obvious stop would be down in this area because you have a uh, this wick, wick down here, swing low, swing low. And also if you put on the, the Williams Fractal, you will see that this wick is, is uh, a daily Williams Fractal. Um, but if you enter, let's say you enter on the yellow 21 expansion weekly, you will have uh, an 8% loss with a potential 15% uh, profit so it's it's a not bad risk reward ratio but it's not really that good either so another reason why I like to have my stop down here is because it's below all these moving averages but if let's say we have we have another uh, another level up here that I'm liking because you have the this week here and this area here so uh, if these 
if these moving averages could m move above this area here then I would put more faith in this level for a stop loss so in that case you have two potential areas for stop loss and you could choose one of one of each depending on your depending on what you you know can afford to risk on on this setup if you think it's worth having a setup you know your stop loss down here so entry would be in uh, this area right here and uh, the first take profit i mean if you're very very safe you could start taking some profits up here but that's a sub one r that's like really really bad but yeah if 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 you feel like it um potential take profit here but i mean if we break this area to the upside and you manage to catch a retest price should trade up here and that's for the first take profit that's a way better or i mean 1.9 is still bad but it's way way better right so and if you feel like using this level right here you have a very good risk to reward ratio especially considering if you look at the weekly if we break this area right here that's there's not really much resistance in the way before we reach this area here and that's uh between 35 and 40 percent move so yeah that's uh, a very good rr setup especially even with this uh, stop right here so yeah that's what I'm looking at and if we get a confirmed break above I'm gonna look to enter on a retest so yeah I will keep updating you guys on uh, this uh, setup for I guess for educational purposes because I, I want to show you guys how I trade all coins and this is really this is a setup that I really really like so uh, and uh, you don't really have to see this as a weekly w all all i care about really is you have support forming here price comes down and tests it tests again breaks and then turns something uh, turns into resistance and the next time i mean this has been tested so many times so the next time this breaks to the upside it sh this level should act as a decent support area and looking at the uh, if you zoom out a bit here if we start breaking if we start trading to the upside here and especially if we break this area right here we will have you know a potential re reversing going on with a potential around the bottom here and if you guys remember when when we first joined the the burb nest as test contributors like I, I think it was back in october um a lot of alts looked like this uh, we we had tron ripple uh komodo yep across the whole alt market we had shots looking exactly like this and if you guys remember what happened afterwards were some really really nice trades let me show you ex uh, an example of uh, komodo b2c this is actually a trade setup that i posted when i first joined and uh, you have you have something that you could yeah this could be considered a, a weekly w right so you have a weekly w here breakout and what happened was I remember posting a setup where I longed the retest. So on the four hour, you had multiple open uh, open and closes above here on the four hour. And what happened was I longed the the retest right here for a very nice move. I remember we had our last take profit uh, up in this area for a sixty percent move. So that's the idea that I'm looking for on. Monero but you have to remember if if BTC aggressively pumps or dumps these kind of setups will be invalidated very quickly so 
be sure to uh, you know manage your risk accordingly and wait for confirmation before you enter anything like this what bitcoin in my opinion needs to do for these kinds of setup to become uh, uh, active again bitcoin needs to start ranging again or show signs of weakness by bleeding slowly by going down slowly we can't have any aggressive pumps or dumps that would be detrimental to a setup like this and uh, invalidate any type of uh, breakout setups like this yeah so that's that's my idea on uh, monero hope you guys liked it i will keep you guys posted on this setup right here and uh, I've got a couple of more like it that I'm gonna share with you but it's uh, it's getting pretty late here so this will probably be my only video for for today so yeah take care guys and uh, see you next time